Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to use lock objects in SAP. Lock objects are used to provide logical locking functionality in applications. For example, if you do not want several people to edit data in a table at the same time, or if large updates of data are made, you can lock this table in advance. Here I am in the ABAP dictionary and here you can see the selection lock object. You can search here for existing lock objects. So let's search for SP fly. And we see there is a lock object away level. So let's have a look. The primary table is SP fly. It's a right lock. And let's click on the tab lock parameter. And we see here different parameters mandant, care ID, and con ID. So you have to pass the table key here to your function module to lock single entries. But today, in my example, I want to lock a whole table. And I know that there is a lock object away level e underscore table. And let's have a look here. It's a right lock and the lock parameters are the tab name and the var key. And in our example today, we need the tab name. So let's go back. And if you create the lock object, two function modules NQ and DQ are generated, which you can call in ABAP to lock objects. So the name of the function module starts with nq underscore and the name of the lock object. And let's try this in the code. Today I want to lock the table spfly. So we call the function nq underscore and the name of my lock object e underscore table. So this is my function module. We see here some parameters. Let's uncomment the exception block and let's delete these parameters. We don't need them today. And uncomment these exporting parameters. And here we pass the table name as pfly. Okay. Next, we check if the lock was successful and if this is true, we write a message, um, for example, we can update. And we need an else block as well, because if the lock was not successful, then I write here else and I write another message mm, lock could not be set. Okay, and uh, we need another step because if the lock was successful, we have to unlock the table as well. And for this, we click on the button pattern and we call the DQ function module. And let's delete these parameters and uncomment these parameters. And here we pass also the table name spfly. Okay, so let's pretty print and activate the code. Then we set here an breakpoint to check in the debugger 
if the log was successful. So let's run the code. Double click on su super c and we see the value is zero. So the log was successful. And here we see the message we can update. So let's go back. Then on the right window, I want to uh, open the entries of the database table spfly. So let's browse the entries here. And I pick the first entry and I uh, go to the edit uh, mode. So let's go back to the code and I run the code again. Double click on su super c and we see here now the value is 1 and 1 means boring log because we already locked the table with the edit mode. Okay, let's go on and we see here the message lock could not be set because we are here in edit mode. So let's go back here and let's uh, run the code again. Double click on the super C. We see the value is zero, so the lock was successful. Let's try to edit the first value and we see here the message table entry locked at present because we already have set a lock here. Okay, so this is the way how to lock objects with the function modules NQ and DQ. Yes, that uh, was it already. Thanks for watching. I hope you can take something useful out of my videos. I'm always happy when I get comments, so feel free to leave some here. If you haven't already, I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up on my videos. I hope you will join me again for the next video. Thank you and see you soon.